As of Monday night, the City of Brandon had their City Council meeting which included a possible ban for smoking at outdoor facilities. While the City concluded that this ban was not needed, they did suggest that no smoking signs could be put up to fix the problem, and the possibility of the ban is still on their minds. Westman Newsline went out and asked smokers how this ban would have affected them if it wasn't forced. Do you? It would make it so I can't smoke, where I want to smoke, when I want to smoke. Uh, I don't like that idea at all. That's uh, but if they were to say you weren't allowed to smoke anywhere in the city, I don't, I just can't see that flying. While some say the ban would be rebelled against, others believe the impact from the ban would be beneficial to the community. Many local businesses have already enforced no smoking at their locations, while others have not found the need to. Well, it doesn't really impact me very much because I plan on quitting smoking anyway. But when I heard about it, and before I made my decision, I had I was quite upset with that. The City of Brandon says a smoking ban at an outdoor recreation facility is not needed at this time. At least that's the recommendation it made at Monday night's council meeting. A survey was done at various facilities around the city to see if smoking was creating a problem. And while some say it is, the city says the problem can be fixed with a no smoking sign at all the outdoor facilities versus a complete ban. Though the possibilities of the ban are still probable, it seems like it won't come into effect anytime soon. For Westman Newsline with photographer Chandler Shirtliff, I'm Nolan Windsor.